Welcome back to Fight Week. I'm now joined by one of the women we're going to be seeing in action in the strawweight division, Rowdy Vic Rawlings. How are you? Thank you so much for joining Hi, me. I'm good, thank you. Now, you've just recently arrived back in Oz. You've been in San Diego uh, fighting at Alliance MMA. How was it? Tell me about the experience. Uh, it was amazing. I absolutely love California. Um, the gym alliance is like, it's, it's just like my home. I feel like I belong there. Um, I, it was an amazing camp, like flawless camp. I couldn't have asked for anything better. I had amazing training partners, amazing coaching, and uh, I'm just really excited to, to show you how much I have improved just in the little eight weeks that I was there. So do you definitely think you've upped a level in terms of your training? It was two months intensive, right? Mm -hmm, absolutely. Um, I feel like the quality over there is just... It's just incredible. So I've had, you know, quality training for eight weeks and it's, yeah, it was really good. Now, I want to talk to you about your um, debut UFC fight against Heather Joe Clark. You said, one thing you said about that was you felt like you came out a bit too slow and you let the first round slip away from you. Mm -hmm. Was that something that you've worked on coming into this one against Lisa Ellis? Uh, definitely. That was pretty much the main thing that we were focusing on. Uh, my head coach, Eric, was, he's like trying to work me out like a puzzle. He's like, I need to know what, you, you know, what makes you tick and what makes you perform better. And we got there in the end and uh, I'm confident I'm going to come out round one and, you know, let my hands go and really show what I'm, what I can do in, in round one, not round three. Does it give you a little bit of um, extra drive to get back in the octagon and say like, this is what I'm made of, here I am? Uh, definitely. I've always got drive. I never lack in motivation. You know, I have two young kids that I fight for, so I'm always motivated. But, yeah, it's definitely... I, I just want to prove what, you know, what I know I am capable of and what my coaches know I'm capable of. I just want to prove that to everyone else as well. All right, like, honestly, how tough was it being away from your two little boys? It was hard. <laughs> it was so hard, and it was hard because I came back for two days, and now I'm like, sorry, guys, mommy has to go again, and they're like, that would distraught. But they understand. They know what I'm, I'm here for business. <laughs> now, talking about your fight against Lisa Ellis, you've got to get back to your winning ways. You've, um, out of your past four, flight, four, four fights, you've lost three of those. How important is getting a positive result on Sunday? I I feel like my life depends on it. <laughs> that's that's how I'm looking at it. You know, I, I don't train my butt off and I didn't leave my kids for eight weeks to lose. So it's definitely a big thing. I, I really need to win this fight. And you and Lisa have a little bit of history. You were um, partners in the Ultimate Fighter House. I would say, would that make you friends? What, what's happening here? There seems to be a little bit of a rift going on. Or is it all for show? We had our differences. Um, <laughs> I like how diplomatic <laughs> you were there. Yeah, we don't like each other in or out of the cage. So it, it's, I think it's been publicly known that we don't like each other. So, you know, it's going to be a little bit easier to punch her in the face. OK, they do call you rowdy. Have you been rowdy on social media lately? A little bit. Just a little? Just, you know, you've got to stir the pot a little bit. I. <laughs> <laughs> or a lot, whatever, whatever works to your advantage, I guess. Exactly, exactly. I feel like it works for me. I have fun. I have fun on there, so. <laughs> now, how much are you looking forward to uh, getting a win in the octagon and doing it for your little boys as well? Showing them, you know, this is mama and this is what she's made of. This is why I was away for two months. Yeah, it's, it's a big thing, you know, like the boys, they get disappointed when I lose. They're like, why did you lose, mum? And I have to explain to them, like, sometimes, guys, sometimes you lose and sometimes you win. So I don't want to go back and give them that speech, you know. I'm going to be like, yeah, mummy won. Mummy went out there and she did her job. Oh, well, we're so excited and looking forward to seeing you in action in the octagon. We're going to see you. Uh, whether that real anger and that hatred towards Lisa Ellis comes out through the octave. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you. Yes, it's